Whoa! I'm at the new office of Total Oil. Thank you, sir. And yes, look at the logo. Look at the brightness. Namaskar. I'm going to be meeting MD and CEO of Total Oil, Mr. Dilip Vaswani. He's brought us to his new office. Look at the vibe. Plants, Haryali, colorful. Ganpati Bappa, Moria. Need blessings of the man above. Look at this. Makes you feel so positive. Makes you feel on top of the world. And of course, I have direct access to Mr. Dilip Vaswani. And we have, ma'am, what's your name? Janice. Hi, Janice. I'm Siddharth Kanan. I have a meeting with uh, Mr. Dilip Vaswani. Uh, Let me just check the calendar. Please do, please do. Um, I'm afraid I don't see your name here, Siddharth. Uh, Janice. Please, you know you're looking very pretty. You're such an intelligent woman. Please let me go inside. Please. I thank you, man. I love you, Janice. Thank you so much. We are entering. We're going to meet Mr. Vaswani's new office. He's never exposed this to anyone else. You know what? See the warmth of the people there. So let's go. Sir, thank you so much for inviting us to, our, to your new office, right? I said our because he makes me feel so much at home. <laughs> Absolutely. I believe in sharing and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, in fact, we're just moving into these offices and uh, I'm happy that we could uh, do this. You know what, I, I, I really believe, I see a lot of white here and then I see your, your paintings there. And, and your office people have put all your pictures at the backdrop. But I like the whole vibe, vibe in it. Is, is that what you believe in as well? Keep it clean? I mean, I, I believe that a clean desk is an uncluttered mind. And to really be efficient, you have to have a desk which is absolutely organized and clean. So uh, for all those people out there, you're going to feel very jealous because we are in his new office and probably the first set of people to shoot here as well. Let's take a walk down memory lane quickly. I love doing that with you. Biker. I wouldn't say bad boy. Good boy biker. Yeah? So uh, those biking days, did it add a lot to your life as well? Absolutely. I mean, that, that was a different phase in life. Uh, we were a group of five friends, very close, uh, owned bikes. You know, when you are 18, 19, 20, 21, uh, you believe the world belongs to you. You know, and you do anything and everything. And we used to be driving all over Mumbai on our bikes, doing some crazy things. I'm sure a lot of the youngsters who are watching this are at that stage in life where they believe that they can achieve anything in life. And believe you me, you can. But you know what, there are a lot of these adrenaline pumping junkies out there, you know. They enjoy the bike ride, they enjoy the car drive, you know, the wind blowing against your face. But you have to tell them, because you've reiterated that point, that road safety is so important. Safety is of prime, prime, prime importance. And we take a lot of steps for that. And the latest step we have taken is that we are now forming a school for drivers in Bhavandi, outskirts of Bombay. How sweet is that really? Yeah. Where we will pick up drivers, drivers who drive for us, you know, the transport companies who drive for us, but also drivers from other transport companies who don't drive for us. And the idea being that we train them in driving safely on the roads because it will not only benefit them, but also benefit the other people who are on the roads. You know, that's great because you're not only talking about road safety, but you're also making the common man into smooth, responsible drivers. 
So that's a big picture which is being out there for you guys. But most importantly, you know, you love technology. You believe in safety. So you've got another path breaking app uh, which you're involved in. Can you tell us about that, please? That's right. Total Smart Driver app, which is on the mobile of the drivers. Now, when I say drivers, I'm talking about the truck drivers who transport our goods. So this helps in two ways. One, it helps the driver because his road has been mapped. So when he's driving on the road, he, he knows exactly where there's an area where you can have a curve or you can have an incline where he needs to slow down. He gets a warning. And at the same time, it lets us, as well as the customer to whom he's delivering product, monitor the exact location of the vehicle. You also have initiated other safety measures as well, right? So you're always up to initiating a lot of things. We have, uh, uh, you know, 12 golden rules in the company, which we keep reinforcing with every employee as part of their safety culture. New employees undergo safety training when they first join the company. And we also have the system known as stock card. So every employee carries a stop card and that stop card he or she can flash if he feels anybody else in the organization is doing something which can be a risk. You know, you also played a very integral part in infrastructure growth as well as lubricants finding uh, their way into the inlands of India. Yes, in fact, uh, we have two of, in our product range, we have two products which I think contribute a lot to the growth of infrastructure. One is bitumen. Now, bitumen is, you know, what you put when you make roads. And we have a specialized technology uh, with a brand known as Styrelf, which is a polymer modified bitumen, which makes sure that the quality of the road is sustained over a number of years. And which is what I think we need in India more and more. And the second, of course, is uh, lubricants. You know, high quality lubricants, which lower the, you know, emission, uh, emissions in vehicles, which is very important with the carbon footprint. And so we have these two products which play a big role in uh, the infrastructure uh, development or the infrastructure support for the country. You know, I know, knowing you, spending time with you, I, I, I respect you a lot as a human being and of course for what you've achieved. But was there any time when the young Dilip Vaswani, I reiterate, you're still young, <laughs> Did you ever think that you're going to be this revolutionary person who says, you know what, I am going to make a difference to lives? Yes and no. Uh, when you're young, I think a lot of youngsters dream of doing something which is very different, which makes a difference. So obviously I was one of them. Did I have that as a mission? Again, yes and no to be frank. Because when you're young, you still are a little unsure of what really you want to do. As you go along, step by step, I think you, you get clarity, you know exactly where you want to be. So I would say when I was in my teens, did I have that? Probably not. But by the time I got into my mid and early 20s, I think I had that. That I wanted to make a difference. And as I keep telling people, making a difference is something which you're recognized for. I always keep saying, that when I walk into a room, I don't want people to say, that's the lip first one, yeah, he's got, he's a Bellonian. Okay, money is always useful. <laughs> yeah. But for me, I want people to say, that is the lip first one, who's done this for the benefit of society. Who's done this and brought this company from here to here. For, for me, that adds much more value than just making money for the sake of making money. What's the most beautiful thing that you've heard from an employee. When you say, you know what, I'm glad I'm in the position that I am. Well, there are a lot of instances. As I told you, I was the first employee for Elf. I started Elf in India, then I was a CEO till 97. End of 97, I moved to Paris. I created the whole company. All the employees, when I left, we were about 120 to 130 people in the company. I knew everybody personally by name. Six months down the road, when I was in Paris, this young girl, who was the receptionist, called me in the office. She said, I'm Sunita here, do you remember me? I said, yes, of course, Sunita, how can I not remember you? You're part of my team. 
She said, sir, I called you to ask your permission that can I leave the company? I said, why, what happened? He said, sir, I'm getting married and my husband is posted in Pune. So I have to follow him there. But I wanted your permission first. Now that feeling, this young girl is getting married and she has that commitment and loyalty to the company and possibly to me as an individual. And she takes the effort of calling me in Paris to inform me and kind of take my approval that she can leave the company because she's getting married. I of course laughed and said, Srita, come on, you're getting married. Your husband lives in Pune. So obviously, I understand completely. So for me, that kind of feeling if you develop in your teams, I think you have achieved a lot. I saw a lot of people in your office. They were really feeling at home while working. You know, they were smiling, they were immersed in what they were doing. Um, do you have to tell them on a daily basis that, you know what, come on, give it all that you have or it's now in their system, in their blood? I their think game. it's in their system because I, there's some messages I pass on consistently that we are one team, one family. I walk around the office every day. I laugh and joke with people and I communicate with them. And that makes them feel good. In fact, I remember recently, uh, there was a new entrant who joined. I won't name from which other companies, but she's worked in other companies. And we had a company event. And she took me on the floor and danced with me. I mean, briefly for a minute. And the next day she came to me, she said, oh my God, I can't imagine that I danced with the CMD of the company. It would have never happened in the previous company. So for me, that, that, that is very, very, very important. That people should feel happy when they come and work in a company. And for me, it's important they say TGIM. Thank God it's Monday rather than TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> you know what, sir? I think it was a big surprise for you when you saw this wall with all your pictures, which you had no clue about, but your employees did it for you that shows their love and respect for you. The first picture where you've got a silver band on your head and you're moving and grooving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the parties we had. I don't remember which one, the Diwali or the New Year's party. And the team, in fact, asked me to put this band. They got it for me. I wasn't aware of it. I could have uh, been a typical stiff guy and said, no, 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 you know, I'm the CMD, CMD of the company. How do I do that? But no, I'm part of the team. The team has to feel that I'm part of them. So that's why I got into that attire and I let my hair down because it's only when I, and I've heard this from my employees, that when we have these kind of parties, the team enjoys so much because you're part of them. They don't feel restricted that what will the management think? Because the management is part of them, dancing with them, drinking with them, enjoying with them. Number two. So I'm seeing you give an award to an employee and you've got a big broad smile. She has a big broad smile. Tell us about that. I started Elf in India in 93. And she's among the first 15 or 18 employees who joined at that time. And like quite a few others, is still in the company. And in fact, now she is my executive assistant. And that award is for her completing 25 years in the company. So obviously I'm very pleased giving it to her because I recruited her 25 years ago. And she's very pleased that I am now back in India and that she's getting the award from the person who recruited her. And she feels that we are now all part of the same family which we started in. 1993. You know, that's great because in this day and age when people keep juggling jobs, shifting, running from one place to the other, it's damn difficult to sustain employees in the same company. That took for 25 years. Well, I've been there for 27 years. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but we have quite a few people who have been there for 25 years, 20 years, you know, number of years. And a lot of, lot of people in fact, and again for me the important factor is that you need to create that environment where they enjoy being part of the company and part of the family. As I said earlier, money is important, but money is not everything. And I've known cases where people have been offered 25, 30, 40% more by other companies and they've turned it down because they enjoy the environment and they enjoy what they're doing here. Third picture, the last one. You're on stage, 
you're talking what is that probably giving gyan <laughs> with a twist knowing you it's always got a twist no i mean you see me i'm smiling so i'm sure i've said something which is humorous because again i believe that you know you're working in the office you spend more awake time on working days in your office than you spend at home and you cannot be serious all the time so you have to pass your messages but at the same time you have to have a bit of humor so i'm on stage there i think that's an employee event where we had 600 people somewhere in i think it's in in, in bangalore and i was giving my talk to them and i'm sure i said something which was humorous and that's why i smiled but the message i keep giving consistently is we are one team one family and we walk the talk together and we all do things together you know what so talking about walk the talk i've been walking the talk sitting the talk with you thank you for for bringing us to your office and i think the next episode i'm the lucky man along with my viewers to get into your house to see the mind of a leader in his house so are you welcoming us with open arms to I'm, your house i'm looking forward to it thank you so much thank you so much sir get inspired get motivated remember have fun with what you do and if this episode makes a small difference to your lives we will be so happy mind of a leader with dilip vaswani i am siddharth kanan ciao